Good morning and welcome to spending a rainy day with me. This is me in bed before my alarm rings and then I am just going to show you guys the rainy slash foggy weather in New York and I'm just gonna grab my phone, check my notifications and head into the bathroom to take out my retainer and put in my contacts. Good morning, it is Pilates time. I just got up, I got ready, I put my contact lenses in, put my hair up, and I'm now gonna go to Pilates, and then I'll see you guys later. This is my outfit, it's all green. Um, <laughs> my all green outfit, I'll see you guys later. Hello, it is after Pilates, I just got back and I have a hair mask on, I just showered and I'm bleaching my eyebrows because I have bleached eyebrows and they don't grow in bleach, they grow in brown and it looks really weird. So um, that's what I'm doing, I'm gonna get changed now because I'm scared of accidentally dropping a towel, flashing everybody, but it is really like foggy outside and today is probably gonna be a chill rainy day, so join along. I'm gonna go eat breakfast and change, go eat breakfast, and then wash all this fun stuff off. I just literally spilled my morning coffee like all over myself, like full on like burning hot coffee. Um, so now I have to do a bunch of washing. I had to do washing anyways, but now I'm like, and now I can't avoid doing it. So I'm gonna do washing, I have to wash all my clothes, my towels, all that fun stuff, and while I have my I'm asking. I'm also reading, and I'm reading Out on a Limb by Hannah Bone and Young, and it is so good. It is such a laugh out loud kind of book. I absolutely love it. I'm pretty far in, as you can see. So I'm gonna sit down and do some reading. I just finished eating breakfast. I'm in a bra because my t-shirt got full of coffee. So I'll see you guys after I've washed this out and while I'm doing washing, maybe. <laughs> I'm reading and I just made myself a bowl of fruit and now I'm gonna do some TV watching which basically means I watch NCIS I for whatever reason love NCIS I don't know why I couldn't tell you um, I just think it's great um, so yeah I'm like on season 8 or something so no spoilers please <laughs> and look at how stormy it is outside just let me flip you real quick do you see that? Oh my god. Do you see how stormy it is? Like, oh my god. I know. Isn't it crazy? Okay, I'm gonna go watch my show. Bye! It is a lot later in the day, and I'm probably gonna get copyrighted because someone's playing music in the background of this, but I have friends coming over, and we're gonna watch, um, that was Eric in the background, by the way, and we're gonna watch, uh, Halloween movies. So, Abby's already here, because she's punctual like that. And Rhea is running late, like always, but that's okay. We'll see her in a minute. And I'm very excited. And also, it cleared up a bit, but not quite, but a bit. Okay, so I'm also nearly done with my book. I'm, I'm so, so, so close. It's like that much left. And this is such a good book. I can't wait to review it. Oh, it's so good. So if you've um, read that book, can you recommend me books similar to Out on a Limb? Because that was a really good book. Sorry, I'm late. I'm really sorry. I, I missed my train. You're fine. But also, okay. Donna, I need to go also. I didn't have a chance to. Marry me? I took care of that too. We've been married for the last seven years. Excellent. Um, um, friends are fighting this. To show the world, gets to show the world. Ah, we're friends! Okay, Rhea's bracelet looks so cute. You can't put guys like you away for saying like the rest of the strip clubs now, okay? I'm putting one in admission of guilt. It says rack for Abby, Rhea, and Charlotte, or Rhea, Abby, Charlotte. And then this is Abby's. Oh, mine is literally just a... Try. It's simple. And a raise. Oh, okay, fine. 
And this is mine. Okay. It looks like I'm a child. No. It's ugly. But it's me. I don't know how to zoom in, but I'll. <laughs> no, yours is cute. It's cute. It has a lot of different textures. <laughs> <laughs> like, I mean it like that. Texture. A lot of different textures and flavors. And look at the little smiley face. There's a star. There's a lot of different personalities. It's a positive up for all Absolutely, of yes. You're like, it's me, my seven different personalities. Mm -hmm. And we're watching a TV show about lawyers. Um, and that's my husband right there. Oh, I don't know. I don't know how to zoom in. I think I turn this. Okay, so just one question. Why'd you come to my Oh. Okay, that's my husband right there. No, not him. This guy. Why is every book a New York Times bestseller? <laughs> that's a very good question, Maria. And Wait, I, let me zoom out because I was zoomed in the whole time. That's a very good question, and I wish I could answer it. I think it's because, like, during COVID, this is my take. I don't know if this is true or not. But during COVID, I'm going to try this out. I think so many people were, like, reading that, like, just the, the sales of books went up so much that, like, every book or every... It's, it's mostly, if you read it closely, it's, like, um, New York Times best-selling author. And that means like one of their books could have been on that list. Okay, because that's really funny to me because almost every book I've like picked up it says New York Times. It has that little sticker on it. Like Maybe New you York just Times have really selling. good taste. You do. Uh, I don't know, guys. Like I've just I've just picked up some random books and they all say New York Times bestseller. So I, I don't know. Like I mean, that's kind of like everyone winning the Nobel Peace Prize. You know what I mean? Kind of. Like. It kind of takes away the hype, but you know, not not trying to get controversial here. Uh, let's move on to Abby. Let's zoom in a little bit. Um, Abby, where do you see your future self uh, doing? I I need I do I feel like I need a number. You have to lick the lick the end. It's very tasty. Yeah. What if they make flavored strings? No, kids would literally like choke and die. Oh, just be eating eat strings. <laughs> I would eat them. Didn't kids like literally eat like tripods? And they do. Oh I can see how the confusion. I mean, they, I mean, the tripods does look kind of tasty. It doesn't look like fun. Okay, guys, it is 10 p.m. My friends left. Um, it was a lot of fun. We basically watched series and made bracelets like five-year-old girls, but it was great. And I just finished my book, so I'm really happy. And I'm not gonna go watch my show. I'm home alone, which is always fun, so I'm gonna go watch my show and maybe look at which book I'm gonna read next. Thank you so much for today. <laughs> Thank you so much for joining today's vlog. I hope to see you guys very, very soon in my next video. And until then, stay safe, dream big, and stay positive. And I'll see you guys very soon in my next video. And please subscribe for more videos. Bye! Got to appreciate what you have, love the small things. Eden.